Coming up in the next few minutes, we're going to be discussing gun drilling and deep hole drilling. I'm here with Dave Hudson of Goering UK and he's going to tell us all about it. So Dave, first, what is it? Uh, it's, it's any process, really, silly, where you've got to put a deep hole into a component. Um, and what would you class as a deep hole? A deep hole can be anything from five times D to whatever the length of the, the application is would be. So we can clearly see three different styles of drills here. So can you just tell us the differences between them essentially? Yeah, certainly. Um, conventionally, gun drilling has always had it from its name when it was obviously came from, from the production of, 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 of guns from many years ago. And it's rolled on a lot more into that, into other areas where you do need to put a, a, a hole into a, into a, a deep application. Um, in the original, or in the early days, certainly, uh, it would have been it would have been um, literally put into a component using a drill like that, which we still make as a standard tool, and it's and it's a it's a meter long. So realistically, we can put a meter long high speed steel, high speed cobalt tool into a two hole. It's two fluted, uh, it's spiral fluted, so it aids the the swarf evacuation and whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's it can be very slow because you do have to still peck within it. So with the advent of through spindle coolant, or the benefits of that, of course, we then went into um, conventional gun drills, I would class them as. And, and typically for many years, a tool like that would be used on a, a special purpose machine, a gun drilling machine, um, which it would have, it would have a, a, a driving from the end, You'd, it would have a, a support bushes to turn it home from there. And the, the length of the tool would be dependent on the actual application that it was machining, as would the diameter as well. Um, as things have progressed over the years now, you can very, and, and coolant pressures are pretty basic or, or pretty normal on a CNC machines or most CNC machines. It gives us the ability then to use that onto conventional machines. And how, how many times diameter do you go up to? We can go. We can go up to the longest gun drill that we make is three point six meters. <laughs> so this is two meters from there. That gives you a rough idea of how how long we can actually work along there from a depth uh, um, purpose. And we look at some of the smaller diameters. Yeah, uh, th that, that's astonishing, isn't it? How, how you can make get such diameter to uh, uh, length ratios. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, on the on the very small ones, which go down as as, as low as a millimeter, we can get up to eighty times D. Uh, on, a, on a solid carbide tool. Um, so, so obviously that tool is going to be fairly weak. So there's yeah. a strategy here we need to follow, isn't there? Correct, absolutely. Um, within there, we've, 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 we've just brought it, we brought all the, 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 the deep hole drilling products that we have within the Goering um, portfolio. Uh, we, had, we had deep hole drills such as that in the main drill catalogue. We had uh, a carbide catalogue with tooling and whatever. And also with every when you're doing this from there, then you have to build, you have to basically generate a bush first. So you would you would drill a bush. We brought those into here as well. So everything within that um, catalog is a standard product in the range. Okay, so we're talking very very deep holes here. So are there any limitations to the materials that you can uh, you can drill at these le lengths? Not well from, from experience. No, the big the big you can change geometry, and we will change a lot of geometries on the tool uh, as well, uh, dependent on the materials. Um, if you actually look at the, 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 the end geometry of a gun drill, it's got support lands all the way through it. And we will vary that depending on what the material is in some cases. If you've got a material that doesn't like rubbing, for instance, as would be because mm -hmm. it generates it work hardens and the likes, you know, that, that the, the, the land width and the design of the lands within it will, be, will change depending on the material. And also the coating, we can vary coatings within it. Yeah, and I guess to answer my question, you've got oil and gas yeah, absolutely. And they're, they're challenging materials yeah. and, and they have some you know, deep holes. Yep, yeah, definitely so. In the oil and gas industry, they're, 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 they're big users of gun drills and we certainly supply those into it. You know, as, it, as in, as in um, you find that there's, the, there's and the small hole, um, if, you, if you're looking something as small as, uh, you'd find that they're putting, they're putting breather holes and air holes into um, the, the um, uh, motor racing engines and, and, and the likes and also medical as well. So there's, there's applications for lots of areas that would be. Um, there's other ways of doing it now, EDM the likes, um, but it's still a lot quicker to use something like that than, than maybe uh, EDM. Um, just, to, just to build on that one a little bit, um, we now do those in a solid carbide ore feed form. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of the solid carbide ore feed form is that it can, it can machine six times quicker than a gun drill. 
Wow. So uh, there is, there's, 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 depending on the application and the concentricity requirements and that, you can you can use a, a quite a variety of tools. And just finally, some of these drills are, are going to be fairly expensive, Dave, just for the nature of what they are. Obviously, yeah. we've only got a little bit of carbide on here. Yeah. Uh, so ha talk us through like the re the, the regrinding process. Not a problem at all. Uh, they tend to be regrind um, with a carbide tip. They can be re-tipped as well in some cases, so long as the the um, the um, uh, the actual um, tubing isn't actually been damaged at all within it. This tends to wear, to be fair, with a lot of swarf within it. So you find that wears quicker than the actual head does. So, but from, for regrinding purposes, you're no problem at all. You can have issues with coating because if the coating, a lot of coating processes, the, the actual braids will possibly give way mm. and you end up losing heads and the likes of that. So you will find with something like that, it's actually been coated before it's been, been brazed and then it's finished ground thereafter. Great, so how do people find out more about your gun drilling? Guring website, um, um, guring.co.uk. You'll find that there's the the, the catalogues are, are are downloadable from on there in the majority of cases. Uh, if you send an inquiry through to inquiries at guring.co.uk, then we'll be able to help you out from that. There we are. So for anyone watching at home, it, it's got deep holes to drill. Maybe you're outsourcing that currently, thinking it's quite specialist. Maybe speak to with the, uh, the the team at Guring, and I'm sure they can help.